Hey there and welcome to Reactor TV. I'm Christian and I'm going to guide you through the process of installing WordPress with Slickstack on your Ubuntu server. Slickstack is another fantastic tool designed to make your WordPress hosting experience seamless and efficient. So let's get started. All right, before we begin, let's talk about Slickstack. Slickstack is a collection of scripts and configurations designed to help you quickly deploy your WordPress on an optimized LEMP, L-E-M-P stack, which stands for Linux, Nginx, MySQL, and PHP. Its focus is on performance, security, and simplicity, making it an excellent choice for developers and website owners who want a streamlined setup process. Now, why use Slickstack? Well, Slickstack is perfect if you're going for a lightweight and efficient way to manage your WordPress sites. It also includes automatic updates, security enhancements, and performance optimizations right out of the box. Whether you're managing one site or multiple sites, Slickstack can make your life a whole lot easier. Before we start, ensure that you have an Ubuntu server ready and a domain name with a DNS hosted on Cloudflare. Also, make sure that your Cloudflare SSL and TLS encryption modes are on and full. If you don't have a server yet, visit Rackner.com for reliable hosting solutions and check out our other tutorials for setting up an Ubuntu server along with buying a domain name and pointing that domain name to your server using Cloudflare DNS hosting. All these are available on our YouTube channel, so just check them out as soon as you can. Now let me share my screen with you and let's get started with the tutorial. First, let's update our server to ensure all packages are up to date. Open your terminal and run this command. Just do note that this may take some time depending on your internet speed, so just be patient. Next, we need to set a host name for our server and we need to use our root domain for it which is what we want to use our website for. In my case, it is just racknertv.com. Now run this command to execute that. Once done, we are now ready to install Slickstack with this one line of code that we're gonna use. This is a script that will run a wizard for automatic installation. You can choose to set it up automatically for you or simply choose the manual route by configuring your forward slash bar forward slash www forward slash ss dash config with any text editor of your liking before running the installation script. But we do want to choose the automatic route for the sake of saving time and for the sake of this tutorial. Once again, this may take a little while depending on your internet speed, so just be patient. And note that Cloudflare should be activated on your domain prior to Slickstack's installation. Otherwise, the self-signed OpenSSL certificate will result in an insecure when your website is loaded in the browser, and that would come in after the installation is complete. Cloudflare's free SSL certificate authority pairs with OpenSSL and signs the self-signed origin certificate with zero issues which usually takes only a few minutes or even less. Alternatively, if you are planning to use Let's Encrypt instead of OpenSSL, you don't necessarily need Cloudflare. And SERPBOT should be able to verify your server using the temporary self-signed OpenSSL certificate for the initial Nginx configuration. However, be sure to point both the staging and development subdomains in your DNS record before beginning the Slickstack installation if you are using the staging slash dev site features. Otherwise, SERPBOT will be unable to verify the SSL certificate for those subdomains. If you guys are confused with the Cloudflare steps, just let me know and I will make another tutorial on that in the near future. Finally, once the installation has been completed, make sure that you copy and note the credentials from your SSH console. Your sudo user password will be the root user from now on as the default will no longer work for security reasons. The WP user and password is the same as your STFTP login, and you should be able to log in to your new WordPress site installation by now, like mine, as you can see here. And that's it, you have successfully installed WordPress with Slickstack on your Ubuntu server. Slickstack is a powerful tool that optimizes your server for performance and security making it easier for you to manage your WordPress sites efficiently. If you found this guide helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this one. And remember, for all your hosting needs, visit Rackner.com. Thank you for watching and happy hosting.